Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Shinobi Nando. This is a follow-up video to my Witch Queen Collector's Editions unboxing, which hopefully most of you have seen. If not, please feel free to go check that out first and then come back here. I mean, I can't make you, but trust me, this video will make a lot more sense that way. So if you have seen my Witch Queen unboxing, you will notice that I did mention something about the Glaive poster with something weird on the back, a kind of metallic disc shape thing. And then while I was checking to see how well my video was doing and okay, truth be told, checking out some of the competition, seeing what other people did with their unboxings, I stumbled across this video where somebody actually put their replica strange coin onto the psychometer and it played a message from Xur. Now, unfortunately, it's not my strange coin that I got from the Taken King Collector's Edition in Cade Six's journal. It's actually the strange coin that you get from the Bungie store for the season of the loss or the 30th anniversary. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can hear the full message yourself and also, you know, full credits to that creator. I don't want to steal their thunder. So once I saw that, I tried putting this part of the poster onto the psychometer and surprise, surprise, it played a new message. Also, full disclosure, I saw... I'm not going to begin to pronounce your name, dude. I, I will mess it up. I have a history of messing up names. It'll be on screen now and again there'll be a link to their full video in the description they break down the entire collector's edition and all the secrets that people have found so far on reddit but i discovered even more items could be placed on the psychometer even ones i didn't think of like the the, the id card so i began quickly playing around with more things i could find like what the actual message was on this card and without further ado here are the rest of the secrets from the Witch Queen Collector's Edition. Let's start off with the four alternate messages you can get by placing different items onto the psychometer. The Warlocks say, ask strange questions. They say, our questions shape the reality that answers them. What questions has she asked? Remember the first calling. Find thyself. Know thyself. Destroy thyself. Shed thyself. Embrace the new skin. Become the many. What I mentioned in my collector's edition unboxing is you actually have to dial in and tune in until you get all the green lights on this side for each individual item, including the strange coin. There's also one additional item that we haven't got yet. It's probably something you'll have to unlock by doing something like beating one of the new dungeons or perhaps the raid. It's the moth symbol. I just wanna wrap up this video quickly by showing off the other things, including a free emblem that you guys can redeem that I discovered while playing around with my collector's edition. I'm sure plenty of other people have or their posts on Reddit. If you want the sneer of the Oni emblem, first of all, I hope you're not colorblind because for some weird reason, Bungie chose to go for red, even though I believe the most common form of colorblindness is green and red. I think this is such a weird choice because one, I know so many people that are colorblind that play Destiny specifically because they have such great colorblindness settings for them and accessibility. And number two, even if you're not colorblind, it's kind of difficult to see the message hidden in here. For those of you who cannot make out the back of the card, it says Chalco Young, Agent Destination, CHA319 and has a code for the Sneer of the Oni emblem, which is 6LJGH7TPA. I'll have the code here as well so you guys can see it better and actually redeem it on the, the Bungie Redeem website. The Bungie Redeem, you know what I mean, bungie.net slash redeem. There's a similar message on the top of the Glaive poster. However, it's like a partial code. I don't know if there's somewhere else I have to figure out where the, the, the ending of the code is. It is the same as the back of here, the CHA319. I haven't checked more videos or read it yet, so it may be solved. There was also a code on the back of my Linocular card. However, it's a one-time use code, unfortunately, and I've already redeemed it. Sorry, guys. In hindsight, it should have been a lot more obvious to me that the book could be scanned considering it has the same pattern as the psychometer and the disc on the back of the poster, but 
You know what I mean? I was excited to get it. I was excited to play around with the ghost. Forgive me. I haven't found anything else in the book. If I do or discover that somebody else has found it, I will credit them and put a community post or a short. So please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful. Let me know if you've already redeemed the emblem, the Sneer of the Oni, or if you discovered it through my video. Let me know, especially in the comments, guys, if you want me to do more follow-up videos when it comes to the collector's editions unboxings in the future. Sometimes you get that excited opening it up and taking a look and filming everything that you don't notice things the first time around. As always, guys, if you want to see more close-up photos, if you want to see stills of any of the collectibles, please check out my Twitter and Instagram links in the description. And again, check out the other creators I've mentioned in the video who actually helped me discover some of these secrets. Full credit to them and to the awesome people on Reddit who are constantly looking at these things and solving the puzzles for us. Yeah, this video is kind of dragged on longer than I thought it would. So I'll see you guys in the next video.